morning. Welcome to Woof Wednesdays. I haven't talked to you guys in a long time, but wanted to come back and give you guys advice for this Thanksgiving and what you can give to your dog and what would be good for him or her to enjoy the meal and become part of the family as well and enjoy all the festivities that you guys are enjoying too. First of all, for the feast, the turkey itself, make sure you don't give the dog any of the skins, anything that was seasoned on the turkey whatsoever. As a tradition, when I was growing up, we would always give like the gizzards and the innards of the turkey to the dogs, and they absolutely loved it. I would also stay away from the gravies as well, because the gravies contain um, sometimes onion or onion powders, and those aren't really good for your dog at all. Onions are, onions are actually toxic for your dog, and so you want to stay away from that also. Potatoes can be good, but potatoes, when we make our homemade mashed potatoes, what do we do? We put a lot of salt in them, and salt is not good for your dog. We do not want to put all that excess salt in there, so stay away from the mashed potatoes for your doggy, but give them some sweet potatoes, but avoid putting any that have the sugar on it or, ma or I'm going to say mashed potatoes, the marshmallows on it. Just scrape those aside and then just have it be the sweet potato itself, which are excellent. A lot of people have squash on their table. Squash is fantastic for dogs. And another thing, if you do have any sugars or anything extra on top there, scrape those away and then you can give them to your dog. You can, if you want to, get an extra can of yams, a can of squash. The can of squash I've only seen at Whole Foods. But you can get those and you can mix them in with your dog's food so they can have that as well and you can avoid it being mixed with anything extra. You can also do that with pumpkin. And make sure when you get pump canned pumpkin from the store that you are getting just pumpkin and not pumpkin pie filling because there's a huge difference in the two. Canned pumpkin, you'll see on the back ingredients, pumpkin and that is all you will get. So that is another option that you can do in order to get for your dog. A lot of people do green bean casserole. Green bean casserole is fantastic. However, when we make them, we also add a lot of other ingredients to the, the fried onions and everything. But if you're getting uh, canned green beans, you can always include some extra green beans that are not in the casserole and put them in your dog's food as well. Or if you're making fresh green beans, which is my preference, you can just make a couple extra and give them to your dog too. They absolutely love them. If you're doing any type of corn, corn, it, just like for people, we like it. Dogs like the taste of it, but it holds no nutritional value for us. And that you'll, you can, like I said, you can give it to them, but it doesn't hold a lot of nutritional value. So I wouldn't totally recommend corn to give to your dog. But those are just a few of the tips that I can offer you. Just please avoid sugar seasoning, onions without question because they're toxic for your dog. But please enjoy the holidays this year. And I get to watch this little guy. This is my friend Cat's dog. His name is Charlie. And I am going to be fixing him up something really special tomorrow as well. But making sure to keep it safe and healthy for him. Because not only is it safe and healthy for them, it will keep them well, but you don't want them getting an upset time again and getting a lot of gas later because we all know how much we love, or and hate, I should say, having dog gas around because it's embarrassing for us and it makes us want to bail out of the house as fast as possible. So we don't want to put them through that hell or us through that hell. So be happy this, uh, this Thanksgiving. Eat a lot. Get stuff. And make sure your dog eats healthy as well. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.